temperament. These I don't horses want to kiss are. It. I just met it. I'm sorry. They're I fantastic. Put my foot down. They really no, are. I, understand, I want you, you to stroke him. Yeah, I'm stroking. But kissing, I don't do. I'm no, you don't kiss him. <laughs> and how much do these little beauties cost? How much uh, does this piece oh, of meat go for? A sort of uh, anything from three thousand up to five or six thousand. So only boys. rich boys can play this game. No, 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 no. Poor boys who can get overdraft can play this like game. Like you. You're like me. Yeah. So how do you? I work here. I only work here. I don't. Know. I don't have any money. I so how do you get into this gig then? I got into this game. Watch it now. No, he's angry. No, I'm no, sorry. he's I'm not, not angry. With he's angry no, he's not angry. First, he's I can't kiss one, look. then they're going to bite. No, no, oh, he's, yeah. no, he's not. He's... <laughs> no, I know. I know how to talk to them. You go. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Lovely. Talk to him. Usually, because we had the same overbite problem. <laughs> Before I had braces, I looked oh, yeah, not 200 so? miles from this little beauty. Yeah. That was my yeah, orthodontist freak. What a lovely set Before, of teeth. Look, after. Look. Right. They are. They're she, lovely. lovely set of teeth. You obviously love horses very much. Wonderful. I love horses. But how did you? You're kind of a, you know, do you mind me saying <laughs> no, you're sorry, not you like you're that. not from let's say I don't know the filet mignon no, no, no. of the beef? No, no, I come from the rough side of the track. Okay, yeah. what is your title? Miss Ruby Red. Miss Ruby Red. And you are. I am. Um, what do you, how I know should it's I say this? It is slightly embarrassing. It is. I know, but um, they say that I'm the Marcus Milford Haven, which yes. is like Lord Milford. Don't Taven. be ashamed about it. A lot of therapy, you'll be able to say it without blushing. Yeah. <laughs> and does that do, having the title? Do they treat you differently as a polo player? Because I notice that Terry keeps kind of paying homage to you. Um, no, they don't treat me any differently. It's just that um, Terry always gives me a hard time. Because you're titled, probably. Yes. He tortures you because of that. That's right. People who've got titles these days get teased. Yes. Generally. And what, did you ever play with Prince Charles? Yes. And yeah. tell me what kind of a player he is. Be honest, we can take it out. Um, well, I, he's my second cousin, so I have to be careful what I say. Right. But, uh, as a polo uh, player, actually not as a man. As a, as a sportsman, he is genuinely very good. If you get to four goals, um, as an amateur, that's very good. That's yeah. like a... What's four goals mean? You got it, you get it four times in a game? No, no, there is a handicap system like in golf, right? Um, whereas in golf, the best you can be is a scratch player or below scratch. In polo, you can be ten goals. What's Prince time. Charles? What number is he? He got to four goals. No. Yeah, God, see? If only people just respected but him as a polo see, player. But a lot of polo is to do with how rich you are, because the richer you are, the better horses you can buy. Now, Kerry Packer has That's a true. billion dollars or billion pounds or whatever. He's a billionaire. And he can buy 40,000 pound horses. That's a okay? lot of meat. Right? A lot of you meat. don't put that in a bun. And if I'm on my pony that's like 6,000 pounds against his 40,000 pound, guess who's going to get Are you claiming that you don't have the cash? <laughs> I, know I, the cash. I know I don't have the cash. I know I don't have the cash. He's sad the title doesn't get you anywhere. No, exactly. Polo's such a. Do you know what I mean? It's not like a. You know, rough and kind of fishing your back to nature. This is, this is, is it? Rough. This is, we're going to go out and show you in a minute what it's really like. It's a man's game for men only. But Believe the me, the rich used to play this. Now we're playing with the nouveau rich. Yeah, yeah. When I say the aristocracy used to play. Are they playing because they love the sport or because this is an in like buying artisan or buying, you know, like, um, you know, is this Rich is people this will deny themselves nothing. And this is something they've got to have because everybody plays golf, everybody plays tennis, but right. nobody plays polo. This is the elitist this is, game with yeah, bread. Right. But we haven't got academics here. We've got... Just money. Just money. Just dumbos with money. <laughs> <laughs> this is like from the first marriage, second marriage, fourth. I'm on my, my fifth wife. <laughs> no, I'm actually only on my. Actually, I've been married once. You're the first wife and the mother of five. No, and no, you no. Look like this? <laughs> no, no. I'm terrified. No, I'm not the first wife. She's not even the wife, actually. Oh, what do you think? <laughs> Yet. The court is in. I, I shouldn't joke. I shouldn't joke. You shouldn't joke. Because the next thing is some wife will spot you. I know. Soon, <laughs> and it'll be my fault. I am. And do you think that um, polo players are of a certain type? You know how, like, you meet skiers, you meet... Is there a type that's a polo player? Um, yeah. I mean, are you more virile? Are you more, you know, extrovert? Are you more... Which? No. Um, well, you got 18 thing. children. No. What am I asking you for? <laughs> we'll just fan around. Everybody here is his. No, we're not more virile. I think that if I'm honest, polo is one of those sports that gives you an adrenaline rush. Yeah. Okay, and uh, every time you get on a polo pony and you're riding 30 miles an hour towards the ball and someone's barging into you or hooking your stick or whatever, you are always slightly on edge because, right. of course, at any moment you could fall off. Falling off at 30 miles an hour is, is serious. Yeah, right? yeah. 
And so I think the bottom line to it is that it gives you such a rush. Right. That so it's that's the kick of like, you know, there may be an accident. Exactly. The near death thing. Exactly. You jump out of planes, you could do other things. I do. I've done think crazy things like right. that before. Yeah. Were you a wild boy before you I've, became a Yeah, I try to still be. Up you go. All right. Okay. Oh, is this my horse that's, or am I just... No, uh, you're just going to sit on that one because oh, right. that's a, a pussycat. Mind your head. Yeah, I did. I, Mind your head. I've never hit my head before no, no, in my no. life. But. No, don't worry about it. So this is uh, 3,000 pounds worth of horse and if I beat well, it, I'll probably be sued Well, don't mention money because we don't know. We mustn't talk money. We mustn't talk money. They don't well, like that here. All right. We but mustn't talk money. But the horses are too sensitive. No, you're not worth 3,000 pounds. Money. There's a price tag under his tail. What are you talking about? Now, how do you get, you know, how does like a guy, how does a team get together? Is there a sponsor? You have one rich man and three poor men. Right. One rich man, three poor men. How do you find the rich man? Oh, he's there like a magnet. He comes. Is that polo. your job? Are you the procurer? No, no, no. I teach people to play. I teach rich millionaires to play. Right. And then they become patrons. And then they employ three professionals. And then they go out and play. And I make them look and good. And is their life more uh, satisfactory after that? Once I mean... you've played polo, you can think of nothing else. Really? Believe me. So the goal... It's that fascinating. I don't know. It's, it's, it's 30 miles an hour right around Hyde Park Corner in a minute. So this... All the time. These rich guys, right, who want yeah. a team. Yeah. Are their, their original thing isn't they're going to get a buzz out of the sport. What are they buying? No, they get a buzz out of the sport. They think they're going to get the glamour and all the rest of it. Right. But once they played, in your experience this morning, right. once you've actually sat on the horse and played, you, want you will more. know the magic. You it's want a, more it's a drug. More. Where is it? It's up to Beresford. And the ball goes to It's a drug. You have been told that? They said it's a drug. I know. It's what is it, that you get so much adrenaline kick that you can't? It's Couldn't you just run with a stick and no, hit it? No, but it's more than that. It's the whole atmosphere and the people. It's, a, it's, a, it's the best international club in the world. Yes. You only, if you were to introduce me to a chap I'd never met before, who played polo in Argentina and China, I don't care where, he and I would know people in common, mm. and we'd have a we'd have a ball. And you're both junkies from the well, same sport. Well, I would say that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and there's no cure. No, no. But you know, no it's, come it, up with, it, tell you what the cure is. Do you know what the cure what? is? Running out of money. <laughs> Famous story. I'm sure. Yeah, you know, when do you give up polo? When the money runs out. Now, what about the girlies? Does this attract a lot of women? Are they looking for husbands? What are they looking Long for? Long blonde hair and slinky thighs and Mercedes signs in their eyes. <laughs> Get one fast. Get one fast. This life we're living ain't gonna last. Okay. You so this go? is where girlies come to buy them. Get themselves. They come as soon as they see the horses, the Mercedes. They want one, and they want a fellow who can provide it. We got them here. How long do these relationships last? Is that a curiosity <laughs> beside the evening? As long as the money lasts, yeah, baby. Yeah, that's right. As long as, as, the, long as the looks last. <laughs> they change the women like they change polo ponies. When they get a bit gone in the mouth and a bit old, they get a new one. Isn't that that's charming? That's terrible. What a charming that's group of guys. That's the reality of life. That's life, I know. I would probably be, <laughs> I'd probably be glue now, me personally. <laughs> I would have been in that shoe thing factory where they turned yeah. you into glue. What's my chance with a polo player then, Terry? Be honest. Wait, wait, honest, what? honest, be honest. Okay, I haven't got the length, but you, you know, got, I'm pretty frisky. You've got a pretty face, baby. You're beautiful. Really? You've got I every chance it? in the world. We've got women here that could, you could put in the film Dracula get men. <laughs> You've got no problem. You're beautiful. So are, are the guys kind of in the mood after a day on the horses? I know we're going when off the pole. When they've won a battle, yeah. men, when they've won a battle, they need other action. Right, okay. They so need it's a, a Viking kind of thing. They need a steak. So if I'm on the sidelines, I'm dinner. They need a steak. <laughs> I may be dinner tonight. I'll just present myself just as a Just get him a steak. Remember this, if you want a man to make love to you, give him steak. Fish is no good. <laughs> Spaghetti is no good. Now, I've always been considered the burger of the female world, so I should do fine. The Gold Cup is one of the most coveted prizes in the polo world. Rich, fat cats pour their fortunes into buying the best players and ponies to get into that elusive club called society. So if their art collection didn't get him in, maybe their horses will. To me, this is a desperate step, because at least art doesn't eat your life savings or leave a mess on the floor. 
Yeah, I'm really yeah. enjoying the toy boys around today. Really? <laughs> now, does your husband, does he have horses? Does he uh, buy no. 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 I'd like him to own a few. I'd like him to own a string after today. Because then you can get access to those Argentinians. Oh, which you like. so Do you want me to introduce you? Because I can get a, I can get us over I can. I, I can get us over there. Can you? Seriously. Which one's your husband? He's that very wealthy man with the glasses that the auctioned table. everything today. You know, the, the auctioneer? He bid, he, bid for yes. he bid for everything. That's your husband? The story of an Englishman's life. He never gets there. <laughs> and what do you and your friends have in common? What's the thing that binds you? Is it the love of? Oh, a good time. <laughs> good time? Yeah, good living. It is good living. Because a poor American wouldn't be involved with this, would they? Well, just because... Probably not. No. Probably not. Well, but it's it, privileged. It, yeah, certainly. Yeah. This American might be looking for another kind of horse flesh here. One with a title, perchance. This is part of the season. Yes. Which is which means what? I mean, does that? Which it means all the South Americans come here to England to play. Yeah. And before they came, it was a bit like this. Oh, hello, darling. How are you? The South American. Hello, baby. How are you? And which one works better? Right. I guess who won? Who won? <laughs> who? The guy with the tightest pants. The guy, the guy with the, the dark brown eyes and the flashing teeth. Hello, baby. How are you? Right. That's what he so said. So he's broken into he the... He broke through yeah. the elitist system. Oh, darling, he's so lovely to play with. And he broke that. So South so American now came we, in. As South American he meant. Right. The, they came That's here like the conquistadors. More. They came here like the con conquistadors. Well, what we do is we try to find the, the best players in the world. Right. And uh, most of them come from the Argentine or... Mexico, you go to Argentina then to find them, like some people no, hunt they, oil. You go to no, they come over here. They no, not yet. All right, you're moving <laughs> in. Remember her, the girl from L.A. who was all de Munoz? She's moving in. Sorry, go ahead. She came here for, she came here for she the came summer pudding. And him. Yes. And got you. She told me she just comes here because, you know, no, it's free food. It's free food and free food and free, free men. Food and free men. So now you, go to, you, you do go to Argentina? No, they come over here in the summer. Yes. Good-looking Argentinian fit polo players, and we hire them vast expense. How do you pick them? We pick them purely on their technical By ability. Hand, right. So you watch them, and you say, "I'll have that one, that one." Yeah. And and then you back one of them. Yeah, then they get back. They get they get paid a huge amount of money for playing polo in England in England during the summer. Right. And then. Um, what do you get out of it when they win for you? Um, what we get out of it is the glory of having our team winning and being all over the social pages of. Smart magazines. Right. Okay. At least you're honest. And um, people can know that our empire is doing well. Still in one piece. Yeah. And of course, personal kudos. And personal kudos also, being able to collect the cup. Yes. Um, but it's a great sport because you yourself don't have to have the skill and you don't even have to work out. It's just no, that you have the eye for it. Normally, the patrons who play at number one are <laughs> not the most athletic people on the team. And they're able to. Um, hard, these hard assassins, these Argentinians, to cover for them. Right. Ruby, the Indian army started off polo. You've got to remember that. They took it to Buenos Aires. They took it to uh, America. They're the ones who started off polo. What was the, who was the first guy who hit a ball with a mallet? Oh, he must have been a Persian about 200,000 years ago. Did he do you it know, by Chinaman. accident or he said, I'm going to start a sport <laughs> here that eventually is going to just, <laughs> just attract people who use Louis Vuitton <laughs> luggage? Going to tear, tear him crazy. I don't know how it happened. It was only, it's a game of kings. Let us play, let us play the greatest game in the world, the game of kings and princes, which is polo. Right. This is the game of kings. It's not a game So they for. took it over, right? And they yeah. and what happened then? It was always adopted by the rich. Yeah. It, well, you've got to have rich, you've got to have money. You, you see, have the horses. Indian army had horses. You see, this is the factor. This is like your these people are putting dirt back into the holes. Another quaint and expensive English tradition. But fortunately, I teach millionaires to play that provide the horses and provide the facilities for the ordinary guys right. like me to play. So the Deb type girls, you know, the, like the young nubiles. So they're more interested in the South Americans now than they are getting a title or what's the interest? I think basically all women want a man. <laughs> <laughs> and after and that, they ain't easy to find with bread. Most of them that are manly are on the shovel, unfortunately. Right. The other guys who've got the credit cards and the Mercedes are a bit wimpish. Right. So really what women want is the guy with the bread who is also 
the good looking oh, one. Yeah. yeah, you got it. Right. See? So we're only dealing with bread here. So we're it's just really what is better bread. packaged. Yeah. Like What's your read on it? Do you think it's money showing yeah. off money or not here? This is quite subtle actually, is I reckon. It? Yeah. Because it's the real thing or in what they're way? comfortable with their cash. I mean this isn't new though. <laughs> this isn't new though, is it? I reckon this, they're pretty rich, the people. Pretty yeah. rich. I think pretty so rich. Is your boyfriend rich? He's very good looking. He's quite rich. He is is quite what does he do? Isn't he? he works for um, a pretty major corporation, actually. George. I don't know if I should say. <laughs> but you have nothing to do he with Polo? He might get into trouble. You have nothing to do with Polo? I used to work for Polo Ralph Lauren, but that's about it. Oh, please. <laughs> Such a joke. All right. Okay. I've got some enough. But don't give me a, you know, when a, I need a horse with an intelligence. I don't have to. This is it. intelligent. Look, this is so intelligent. Look, look. All right, yeah. Oh, look, he's drooling. I'm putting he Ruby, likes me, he's drooling. I'm putting Ruby wax on your back. Now, be a good boy. She has a career. You're the best so boy be very in the careful yard, because aren't if you, you ruin any you. of her teeth work, you're going to be sued by a lot of money. I don't okay. care how much you're worth. <laughs> Let me get you up, Ruby. Okay. I like this bit the best. This you like, this is let's the bit just you do like. this all day. Just okay. mount, demount, mount, demount. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Okay, so now. Finest angle. Okay. You missed that. It's back <laughs> Main here. Main thing is near the pommel. Back right. in. Right. Heels down. And we shorten those stirrups up for yeah, you a bit. Okay. I like how you take over. <laughs> Are you this rough with the guys? Oh, I'm rough. Really yeah. rough. Oh, we haven't got. No more holes. No, no more holes. You've got a hole. Oh, okay. We're... Give me the training wheels, you know, where you put the other <laughs> horse legs out, okay? Actually, I do know what I'm doing. That's the cowdery orange. Right. The most Is there a cowdery team? The oh, of course. Yes, there's always been a cowdery team. Ever since Lord Cowdery started polo after the war in England, and you know he got uh, his arm blown off in the war, fighting for England. I uh, didn't know that. Yeah, and he still played. He With went one to arm. He played to Argentina. It, but just the right arm, because you're not allowed to play with the no, left arm. Right. So he, he luckily, he no, had the right... No, he didn't lose the right one, he lost the left so one. So the guy who blew the arm off, so he's got a polo career. So they taught someone to make a spring. The horses were fantastic. The spring came down from his shoulder, fixed onto the reins. No. And he just stopped and turned around and played. Very, a fake arm. Very gutsy man. Very Bob gutsy. Cowdery. Very gutsy man. It's the cadre team which, you know, my father and I used to run, and now my brother and I. Right. Yeah. And your father brought the um, sport to recognition, didn't he? Really? He, I think he's credited with bringing it back after the war. Yes. Yeah, that's right. And so were you raised to be on that horse, whether you liked it or not? Um, uh, possibly there was a bit of that, but I mean, I do happen to like it as well. You happen you know, to like it's very it. Exciting. Do, it's very does your brother yeah. too? Not, no, he doesn't play. Right. He doesn't play, no. And are you aware that um, there's a kind of event going on that has nothing to do with polo here? There often is, actually. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but it all adds, it all adds to the general yes. atmosphere and the razzmatazz or whatever you like to call right. it. Right. You know. It is a kind of symbol of England. Now, funnily enough, it hasn't been around yeah. that long, but it seems to be they've clutched it to their breast. Polo. Polo, right. Because I guess it represents, I don't know, people like to assume they have more money than actually they do and they can identify with a sport yeah. that... It's quite luxurious, isn't it? I don't know about luxurious. It's uh, it's quite sort of tough when you're out there, you know. Yes. Um, and I think that for the professional players, it's a very tough life as well. I mean, they're travelling around all over the world right. for 20 or 25 years of their 20 years of their lives. Champagne has been a part of polo for what? I don't know how long has polo been played? 100 years, 50 years. And uh, throughout the world, you'll find champagne at, because at people, polo events. Because sure. people need to be pissed to watch it? No, or you what? don't need to be pissed to watch it. Are you pissed now? <laughs> I would rather be pissed. What's this thing called? That's a, that's a mallet. It's right. called a mallet. We call it a stick. It's called a mallet. The main thing is, Ruby, get your feet right in. Yeah. I want you to sink your feet right home. Okay. So they're really Which underneath you. Which particular rein am I holding on now to? You hold, you hold both reins. Mm -hmm. I'll come up here the side of you. Won't okay. It? And where do I hold my mallet? One minute, I'll show you that one. Okay. Okay, now look, both reins, no, left hand only. Right. Left hand only. Oh, Just yeah, because I need it with my right hand. No, 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 don't grab them like that. Just right. Fingers through like that. I can't even understand that. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. That's it. Fingers That's it. through like this? That's it. No, 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 no. One minute. See? I'm already losing. What? Oh, boy. Wait a minute, this ain't easy. You need eight, eight, eight O levels for this. Okay, give us your finger. Yeah. There. Okay. All right. Okay. Now that's it. All right. Oh, I can't. Perfect. Oh, got it. I know you got it in one. What's the problem? Right. Now, when All you right. want to go left, you, you turn lean left. that way. Okay. When you got to go right, that okay. way. Okay. But Great. Keep your back still and straight. Okay. 
And then we have to hit a ball at the same time. Is that the idea? That's the idea. Now, the main thing is, let me show Women you how Women wouldn't bother with this. No, no, they just uh, let here. these guys get to it. All right. First, you grab the stick, your thumb there, in there. Right. Round your hand like that. Okay. Okay, put your thumb in. No, your thumb in, darling. Sorry. It's all right. A little slow off the mark today. Yeah. Okay, and then wrap it round. Okay. Wrap it round the back of your hand. Oh, all right, all right. I don't, don't think I'm that's stupid. That's it! I'm only oh, pretending to be this stupid. No, 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 that's, that's good. That's just a little joke that's I just, have with myself. Just winding me up. Yeah, I'm I know. Just, yeah, I know exactly what okay, you're talking about. Okay, let's go now. Let's walk straight out onto right. the ground. Stick down. Yep. Keep your arms straight so you relax your arms. Okay. And you don't strain it. I'm cool. Okay. All right. Back in. Back right. in. No, no. Where's the motor? How do you kickstart this baby? Just, come on, baby. There must be a motor. Where's the batteries? Shove the batteries in the back end. See, to me, it looks like uh, these horses might be in agony because you right. are pulling on the reins very quickly in one direction or the other. Do you think, of, I mean, are they in pain? <laughs> like, I th they're not in pain, no. They're not. They enjoy I th that? I think you'd know very, very quickly if they were because they wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't go properly. Right. Uh, no, they have to, you know, they do have to, stop, they have to stop quickly and they have to uh, start quickly. They have right. to have good, good acceleration and so on. But... Um, you know, that's what they're trained to do, and yeah. that's what they're... And the more money they cost, obviously, the better trained, or the more thoroughbred, well, or what do we... Because it is all if about... You pay a lot, if you pay a lot of money, that's right. what you pay. Head down, stick back, yeah. hit the ball, right. right? One straight arm swing. That's what I want you to do. Okay, but your Head team down. is trying... Wait a minute, my bra strap's coming down. Your team's trying to get it one direction, my okay. team's trying to get it okay. the other, right? Hit it. Don't get I the, have a hard the, time with well this Well done. Don't get thing. the horse too near the ball. Keep away from the ball. All right. Okay, come on to so that ball like now. So it's like croquet, isn't it? Except there's I'm no. I'm gonna let you score a goal in a minute. I no, can't no, get no. to the Keep ball. Keep your eye on the ball. I'm looking at the I ball. I know you're not. Not looking at it. Listen, you got to watch it. When you watch it, you can't this miss thing's it. Too right heavy. now, come if on. If you to get that me ball. a golf club, I could Where do this in a minute. Come on to this ball. You're All gonna right. score a goal. That's it. Well done. Well okay. done. What I want you to do. See, you're gonna get it if you get. Okay, All bring right. your stick back. Keep your arm back. Oh, bigger ball needed. Okay, Quick turn, bigger ball. I'll get it, I'll get it. Well, you see, polo is not just riding, it's chess on horseback. Oh, really? So you need to be quite smart. I because thought you just someone, whacked. No. You see, it looks to someone who doesn't know anything about polo that you just hit the ball right. and run. Well, in fact, you hit the ball, and then when the guy goes up to it, you actually know where he's going to hit it because it's a uh, percentage game, just like tennis. You just know where the right shot should be when he goes for it. And that is why the 10 goal players can read the game quicker. I thought you just whacked the ball in the right I know. direction. Believe you wow, me, boy, that's oh what boy. it looks like. Leave it! Leave it! Yeah, that's right. Well, I got something. No, you... <laughs> I got it. What you are you got it. Well about? done. I hit you the got ball. it. It's been... All right, leave it! Leave it! Leave it, you Leave it! No, no, I come Now by. I'm going to show you what a ride off is, All okay? Right. Yeah. Okay, you ready? Right. You come alongside the guy, right? Ride, walk alongside me, and you lean oh, on him. Oh, that's, you lean on them. Is this legal? <laughs> you, you lean this on them. No, you like mustn't me? put your boobs out. All right. You've got to keep them back. Keep that's, the boobs that's, in. A, All right. that's cheating. Both, you're crushing my leg. Does oh, that Sorry, that it's your leg. Points? Okay. Yeah. One goal in it in the final chucker. Pack has gone up to the front door. Oh, God. Look, coasting. Just coasting. Carlos Crescida. And Bob. Ellington Day. Calvary Park, in the final Oh no, the language is strong. <laughs> the language in polo is strong. Right, but you keep taking the ball. Leave the f***ing thing is what we say. Yes, that's Leave what I'm saying. Leave the f***ing thing. See, I have that's a natural say, affinity okay? for this sport. <laughs> okay, this is your sport. You Which like the language. You understand polo language what already. What if I hit the horse? Ruby, you've picked up the polo <laughs> language. The hit it! Leave hit it, the ball. Head I down! Missed the ball again! Missed the f***ing There's ball. the score, there's the ball, right, through the goal. How long does this game last? Please, God, not long. How long does this game seven last? Seven minutes, the chucker. It's seven minutes. Oh, yes! Chucker. We got He's one. Now. Connected. Well done! Take it to the goal! Oh. Take it to the goal! Oh, God. I got it now. I got it now! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to get this ball. Yes! Yes! Keep Come going. On, these guys don't know what they're doing. And I don't even have tight pants on, I could play this game. Get me Prince Charles now! Next Friday at the same time, a quarter to 11, Ruby visits Glyndebourne.